Okay, we are taking the bearing. This is the last bearing going out. I already installed it. And the bearings go this way. And this one, this is a, a, the one, the first one I took out. Okay, and then usually if this bearing uh, is this way, you can pull it out this way. But if you pull it out this way, all the ball, the balls will fall down. So in this case, uh, this bearing uh, setting is this because they are preloaded. So this, uh, this bearing was this way. So if I pull it this way, the bearing will come out. So what I did is I took it out, I put this back, and then I installed the all the bolts again so in this way you can pull it and take everything out otherwise it is not possible because the shaft has this part here that will not allow you to push the center only the the upper side so in this way you, the only way i could think of is to before it was this way i took all the the bolts out and then i reinstalled the bearing this way so in this way, I can pull this way uh, the bearings and the bearing, this last bearing, and then it will come out. It's, it needs a lot of uh, power, but it is it is coming out. Let's do a zoom there, okay? Because I will not edit any videos. And then the bearing just is moving slowly. This one seems okay. This one already came out. It has a little ring there in the middle. Okay. So coming out. Very slowly moving. out already okay so this bearing is coming out soon I had to put the bearing the other way around. I couldn't take it out if I used the initial setting or installation. Almost out. Okay, I think it's, uh, it's coming out now. Out. Let's say the bearing. Okay, now we'll take it all out. Take my gloves out. Okay, the bearing, you see, if I pull it, it will go out. So this one, okay, this one goes in here. And this one is the middle ring. Okay, it shouldn't be this way, but I know, I guess they know better. So this is the shaft, finally. I took it out and it's in pretty good condition. So I'm going to buy the new bearings. And uh, I still need to pull this part out. So, do the zoom again, okay, I need to take this part out still, and I think I might need to add some fire on it because 
as you can see I already damaged the the I don't know it's a knot or something but I tried to take it out and it was not possible uh, I try you see even the metal just damaged trying to to do it so I guess they use some type of glue or something because I still need to take the 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 other bearing out. This bearing is uh, in very good condition because I already tried and it doesn't have any sound but you know why not replacing it if you already have it there so okay so it's not any sound compared to the compared to these other ones that had a Can you hear the sound? Okay, so this bearing was originally this way. So if I pull this up, you see, it will just it will just go out, right? So I need to I took the casing, this upper casing, outside casing. I don't know how you call it, and then I turn it around and I installed it this way. I had to install each bearing and then I could just do what you just saw. So this was the only way I could do that because this uh, part uh, sure was not going to allow me to uh, grab the center to do that job. I don't know if it is a special machines for that, but I couldn't do it with the tools I have. So I'm finishing the part, this part of the video. I wanted to show you how to do the process, but you know, if you, I, I thought if you already uh, are doing this, you already understand the, how the bearings work. So here's a old bearing. Okay, so what I did is I installed the middle casing and then um, I just put the bearing like this and then side by side and I, you know, I just install the, I install the bolts just this way. Okay. So this is what I did with the other bearing. I'm going to show you here because it's, you know, if you have a couple of minutes uh, to spare, they'd like the videos to be around 10 minutes or so. And there's no magic on that. This algorithm, algorithm tells you just whatever people likes, people like, so I guess. Uh, if you like it you will watch it if you don't like it you just go forward okay so oh, got a room ball in there I okay, got a small ball from other things so this is what I what I did okay it was just like this the shaft uh, it was on the shaft the middle part so I just did that and then you can see me taking the bearing out so I hope you like the video. Um, it's just, uh, I find this uh, uh, surface grinder has, uh, um, was given to me for free. So why not spend some time, learn about it, you know, learn about the systems, how they work, learn about spindles. I have uh, some CNC machines here. Okay, so. I already need to learn about, you know, this type of equipment, so why not? You know, you never know when your knowledge will come very handy to you. So, okay, I hope you like the video. Um, you know, give me a like and uh, subscribe if you want. I mean, I'm just doing this for fun and to share the knowledge because, you know, I found a a lot of uh, very good inf information online so why not sharing what you know i also learn so uh, this is a chinese uh, surface gr sur surface grind they are very good actually i mean but you know people understate the things anyway uh, we are not talking about that so um this is the job for today i hope you like i still have to take this out i guess i'm going to heat this up or I'm going to ask someone because right now the people aren't working so I cannot call the manufacturer 
but uh, I just want to learn and, and save the spindle. I can buy one, it's, 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 it's really not so expensive, but you know, why not? So, um, okay, so thank you for watching and uh, welcome to the next um, video when I find a way to open this. If it is something like glue, I will let you know. Take care and be healthy.